I'm Ryan Cooley. This is my colleague, Brendan Lutz. And uh, we are up here at Zaka Station in, where are we at, Buellton, California? Or somewhere thereabouts. We're here for the 2007 Kawasaki KX450 intro. My name is Russ Brennan with Kawasaki Motors. I'm out here at Zaka Station today for the press introduction of the KX450, the 2007 model. We have actually over 50 uh, changes to this model from the 06. One of the biggest things, obviously, this year is we went to the five-speed transmission. It uh, gives us a taller first gear, a little more versatility in gearing uh, from track to track, so I think you guys will enjoy that. I think both my friend Brendan and I agree that the new five-speed transmission is actually really good. Um, Kawasaki left second, third, and fourth gear untouched, but first gear is bigger, which gave it uh, a little bit more of a bottom end punch. In addition, they uh, made some changes to the exhaust system, changed the porting a little bit, all going after a little bit more bottom end grunt. So, well, I don't know, what do you feel? Oh, yeah. I, I feel like the bottom end was improved and felt really nice. I felt like the five gears, the first gear, they tried, their goal was to improve it so that it would be more linear and pull longer and I felt it did and then the next three were worked a lot like last year's bike. Third just kept pulling straight out of second and uh, fourth gear again untouched like Lutz I never got into fifth on this track and this is a pretty high speed track but there's no need for fifth gear I think I think fifth gear is probably going to benefit the off-road guys maybe a little bit more um, when they need to get up into more of an overdrive type of a gear. But all in all, with the, the additional bottom end, with first gear being a little taller, I really liked the five speed, it, it felt good. Got a new exhaust, the exhaust now is a tapered exhaust, it's titanium still, but it goes from 45 to 54 millimeters. You also notice if we move to the back of the bike, we've uh, revised the rear suspension. The valving in the shock has been changed, we have more adjustability in the high speed compression dampener as well, and that's all made it to a new linkage. One of the cool features of this gear is we've gone with this DLC coating. Thing, Super yeah. trick new forks. I'm, I'm sure like most of you have seen if you've been to a national or supercross the factory works forks have this really cool looking coating on there it's a, a diamond light uh, something or other in addition the the valving has been changed a little bit and there's some internal parts that have been changed the goal being to make the uh, the action of the fork a little bit smoother and not so notchy. This is the first time we've ever put it on a motocross bike, and I think the first time for a motocross bike. We've been using this for a couple of years now on our street bikes, and of course you've seen it on bikes that James Stewart rides. The first year for this bike, they put a lot of R&D into it, and, and sometimes what happens is the following year there aren't a lot of changes because they put so much into that first model year. Not on this thing. Cowie, they just kept going with it. There's There's over 50 improvements on it. Right down to the little things, um, the chain roller down here, if you can see it, it is almost shaped like a sprocket and it's supposed to uh, change the, the, the feeling of the engine braking that you get on a four stroke. Um, to be honest, I didn't really notice it that much, but guys like James Stewart claim that they, they can yeah. feel the difference. We think this 2007 KX450F is gonna be the bike to beat this year. And hopefully we're gonna take the Trans World Bike of the Year honors again in 07. Anyway, Brendan Lutz, Ryan Cooley, we're pleased, we're happy to be here. It's a beautiful day. Our buddy Michael Young was Track here. Track was a lot of fun too. Track was a lot of fun. Zach yeah, Michael Station. was the uh, fast guy in the video. 
Yeah, the right. The, uh, the action that you probably just watched a little of. Maybe there's going to be a little bit more after this. That wasn't us. That was Michael Young. Don't but kid yourself. That was you in the number 83 jersey. That was me. That was me. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> And uh, like our good friend Ricky Bobby might say, if you get this bike, you're going to wake up in the morning and piss excellence. All right, while Lutz is busy pissing excellence, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. Are you getting our shorts in this picture, too? Shorts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs>